एस चांद प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम Okay, now in a simple harmonic oscillation uh, oscillator, we have been calculated what is the potential energy. That is a restoring energy which is associated with the a simple harmonic oscillator. That is, give, uh, variation is parabolic. Now for the damped harmonic oscillator. So damped harmonic oscillator is that in which the restoring force L as L as well as damping force they are acting in the opposite direction. So what is the energy of that mo uh, that mo uh, sim uh, kind of oscillator? So that can be calculated over here. If you want to study this topic in detail, refer to the book by S. John Publishing. Link is provided in the description box. Now, welcome to S. John Academy. Myself, Dr. Narendra Kaur. Now we will start. What is the energy of that damped harmonic oscillator? So now we know that the energy of harmonic oscillator. the in case of simple harmonic oscillator so when there is a simple harmonic oscillator so in that case the potential energy what is that it is a restoring energy so what is the potential energy that is a restoring energy which acts uh, which is uh, applied to the body so that it can regain to its original position simple harmonic oscillator that is given by half of k x square and which is equals to restoring energy restoring energy that comes into play due to the restoring force which is present in the system over here so that means when we plot it over here so this restoring force or restoring energy this variation is like this that is in case of simple harmonic oscillator and also its energy e that is given by n h omega that means this is the energy total energy which is associated with the body and what is u over here that is a potential energy so that is the case when there is no damping force that means the body will continuously moving to its mean and back forth motion will be there original position then mean position the body will be continuously oscillating so here the displacement that is fixed over here so that is a case over here when this is a potential energy restoring over here but we know that when the system is moving due to presence of damping component so there is a presence of damping component that is a minus b dx by dt so what is b b is a damping constant over here dx by dt that is a velocity which is associated with the body and which acts in the opposite direction to the applied force so due to presence of this damping component uh, the velocity of the body that is uh, due to presence of this sorry damping component uh, the body that will comes to rest after some time now we want want to calculate what will be the energy of this damped harmonic oscillator now this energy that can be calculated like this now and that means now in the simple harmonic oscillator now in the simple harmonic oscillator so there is no energy loss that means the energy loss is zero now why this is so we know that the simple harmonic oscillator the damping force or the damping component is zero because here the damping force that is zero so there there is no consideration of the damping force so that's why energy loss that will be zero but we know that in case of damped harmonic oscillator so that means in case of damped harmonic oscillator because in the real world we know that the, there is no existence of the simple harmonic motion always the energy is lost so that means the due to presence of the restoring force which acts in the opposite direction after some time the displacement of the body that will be zero So up when the apply application of the force is there, so that means when there is a energy loss, there in the real world there is no simple harmonic motion. So that means always there is a damped harmonic oscillator. That means there is a energy loss which is known as a damping component over here. So energy loss is always there. 
so the damping the damped harmonic motion there arises when there is a energy loss what is a word damped over here that damped means the things there comes to end over here so that means the oscillations they are damped they are comes to end so that is in the real world so that means the simple harmonic oscillator they are termed as damped harmonic oscillator so there is a dissipation of the energy so now we want to calculate this dissipation of the energy now how we can calculate this energy so before that the model behind this that is now if this is a spring which is associated with the body over here now if this is a mass m and the force that is known as the inertial force or the inertia force or the applied force so applied force that is along this direction which is equals to m d square x by d t square now there occur there is a damper so here is a damper which is present which is responsible for the damping force now the damping force that is given by minus of b dx by dt so this is a damping force over here what is minus why there comes minus b because they act opposite to the applied force or you can say that to the displacement because when the force is applied in this direction the displacement that will be in the along the positive x axis automatically the damping force that will be in the opposite direction so this acts along this direction again there is a restoring force in the backward direction so the restoring force that is f which is again in the opposite direction that is equals to minus k into x what is k here that is a spring constant so this is the virtual model or you can say that the basic model which acts behind this damping force that means a damped component of velocity so that is minus b dx by dt due to that this presence of this component after some time the body that will lose its energy and it will comes to rest and the restoring force it also tries to bring this mass of the body or mass to its original position so they will act in the opposite direction to the inertial force or the force which is applied along the positive x axis so this is the model over here now next is a now how you can calculate force so that means the total force so which is given by the relation so now the force over here that can be calculated like this so that means the total force which is applied to the body so the force that can be given by so f that is applied force which is equals to mass into x relation now that will be balanced by the forces which are acting in the opposite direction now the forces which are acting in the opposite direction they are given by here the f the forces which are acting in the opposite direction so opposite direction forces they are restoring force as well as the damping force so that is given by minus b into v or you can write it as minus b into dx by dt or that is equals to minus kx so these are the forces which are acting in the opposite direction to the applied force ma so we will get this so the total forces they are equals to ma that is applied force in the positive x axis and these are acting in the opposite direction now again we know that the a that is the acceleration so a can be written like this that is equals to m into a which is equals to minus b into v minus k into x now write all the equation in terms of x we know that the acceleration a that can be written as dx square by dt square so that is a rate of change of displacement or the double derivative is applied over here v that can be written as dx by dt now substitute these value we will get okay that is equals to now this is equals to plus b by m into dx by dt 
plus k by m into x that is equal to 0. So, this is the second order differential equation. Now, by solving this second order differential equation, we will calculate the value of x over here. And the solution of this equation that can be written in terms. So, this is the equation which we get over here. So, that is a second order differential equation for damped harmonic oscillator. Now, related to this, we will get here x, the solution of this equation that can be written as, which is in terms of E minus B T by 2M into cos omega T plus phi. And what is omega over here? Now, in case of simple harmonic oscillator, the omega is given by, which is a omega naught that is equals to under root K by M. So, now this is the angular frequency for the simple harmonic oscillator. Now, the angular frequency of damped harmonic oscillator that is given by omega naught square minus B square by 4M. So, that means the angular frequency is given by omega that is equals to under root of omega naught square minus B square by 2M square. So, this is the value of omega over here. Now, we know that the omega that is equals to an omega naught that is equals to k by m under root. So, now this is the value of omega naught. So, clearly you can see that this omega is less than omega naught. What is omega naught? That is the angular frequency of simple harmonic oscillator. That means the oscillator that will continuously moving with this angular frequency while the omega that is the angular frequency of damped harmonic oscillator that means for the damped harmonic oscillator after some time its oscillations that will comes to end that means so this is the angular frequency which is related to damped harmonic oscillator that means uh, now so depending upon this value so angular frequency of damped harmonic oscillator that is smaller than the angular frequency of simple harmonic oscillator that means in the real world you can say that after some time the body that will comes to rest so it will comes to rest after some time because its angular frequency so this component goes on increasing so automatically this omega that will be goes on decreasing because here now this is a damping constant over here so damping constant more with the value of damping constant this factor more will be a uh, lesser will be the value of omega more this value uh, lesser will be the omega that means omega is always less than omega naught so its value will be smaller always so that means this is the value of omega so this implies this is equals to omega naught square so that means this is can be written as omega if you can take it out so that will become under root of 1 minus b square by 4 m square omega naught square so, that means omega is always less than omega naught. So, its value is always smaller than omega naught. So, this is the energy of harmonic oscillator due to presence of damped oscillations. That means due to presence of this damping con constant, the energy of this harmonic oscillator that is also smaller. So, that will also dissipate it. So, these are the reason why the energy or you can say that the oscillation of damped ha harmonic oscillator they are damped after some time so now uh, we will take a short break not till now we have uh, we studied what is the uh, energy how we can calculate energy of the damped harmonic oscillator how its energy goes on in decreasing with the time so that is due to presence of some damping constant now in the next part we will calculate mathematically and graphically of with the phasor diagram we will study how the energy of the simple harmonic oscillator and the damped harmonic oscillator, they are correlated with each other. Now quality learning is easily available at your doorstep. S. Chand Academy brings detailed lectures based on AICTE curriculum as per the new education policy 2020. So do not forget to subscribe to the S. Chand Academy and access the wide world of knowledge conveniently sitting at your home. Stay connected and keep watching S. Chand Academy. Happy learning! Welcome back to S. Chand Academy. Now I will explain you how with the damping constant, with the value of the damping factors, the energy of the simple harmonic oscillator, which is termed as a damped harmonic oscillator, 
and that is goes on decreasing with the time so how the damping factor that is related to the or uh, damping factor it shows a variation of energy with the time so now we know that so there are the four different behavior which depends upon the damping constant means due to presence of damping constant b which acts in the opposite direction to the restoring force so when because we know that this damping constant that will act in the opposite direction and due to presence of this damping force the harmonic oscillator that will be termed as damped harmonic oscillator and its energy values these are also goes on decreasing over here so that can be calculated so in the first component when there is no damping so that means in the starting when there is no damping so b will be zero that means the damping component is zero the over there so that means we know that the damping component that is given by minus b dx by dt so when there is no damping that means the motion of the body that is not decreased over here so the damped harmonic oscillator that will be termed as the simple harmonic oscillator that means it start it will or if when it start oscillating it will continue oscillating to its mean position so its motion that will not be damped over here it is not decreased damped means it's not decreased its motion that will be fixed over here so that means the damped harmonic oscillator that will turns to the imaginary harmonic oscillator or the simple or you can see that that is a linear harmonic oscillator so in this case when the b component is zero this component and is zero that means the motion will be termed as simple harmonic motion now second is the under damping what is the meaning of under damping that means now we know that the oscillations uh, the frequency omega that can be written as under root of omega naught square minus b square by 4m square now this is a factor which is directly related with the angular frequency of the damped harmonic oscillator now that can be written as omega naught into by 4m square into m naught square so that means this is the here the factor by which we can calculate the value of omega so by depending upon the factor which is b square by 4m square so that means depending upon the factor of b by 2m omega naught when we take this out from the under root so this is a factor by which we can calculated the value of angular frequency that means now the either b if d this b is more than this value that means if b is more than this value it will directly related to the angular frequency omega of the damped harmonic oscillator means if b is very very much smaller than this factor if this is very very much smaller than 2m omega naught then that can be neglected over here so that means the damped harmonic oscillator that can be turned to it can be turned to the simple harmonic oscillator so such type of damping or oscillations are known as under damping that means they are the means dampings are not very much large the system can behave to like simple harmonic oscillator so this is known as a under damping over here that means when the damping is very small over here so in that case you can clearly see that that means we know that here the omega is written as omega naught now when b is that is very very much smaller than 2m omega naught square now if this is smaller than this one that means denominator is higher than this value so automatically this factor that can be neglected over here so omega that is approximately can be equals to omega naught so now what is omega naught that is the angular frequency of simple harmonic oscillator that means the body will behave like a simple harmonic oscillator when this is a value over here but in some cases when this b is less than 2m omega naught when b is less than not very very much less than if this is less than over here so this is known as a under damping motion so in that case 
so that means the oscillations are decay so the large value of the b that will leads to faster decay of oscillation so in the under damped the energy that will be decay now the solution of the given equation that can be written as we know that so this is the potential energy terms that is a half of kx square now again the substitute value of x over here we will get so this is the exponential decay of the energy so now you can see that this is exponential decay so if t is time over here and e that is energy so that is exponential decay of the energy over here so energy of the system that will be decay exponentially what is t over here that is a time constant of damping now next is a over damping so in the over damping that means b if this factor is very much greater than this value so that is a very slow monotonic decay that means the energy or the oscillations they are decaying very slowly over here so next is a critical damping so one the critical damping mean when both are equals to when they are equals to this one so automatically the omega naught that will become zero over here so that means uh, so next case when now next one b that is equals to 2 m omega naught when b is equals to this factor so automatically then omega it will come omega naught into 1 minus so they are equal to each other that will be 1 over here so that means the angular frequency that will become zero that means immediately as soon as the system starts moving immediately this frequency that will become zero that means the system will slow down over here so that means the system will be slow down its frequency that will be zero it will continuously it will stopped over here so in this case so we will study it over here so that means critical damping is that so that is a quickest monotonic decay so critical damping is a principal underlying shock absorber so that means in that case so the system that will be continuously decays and it will comes to rest so it will never start oscillating so its oscillations that will become zero so that is this is also called over damping over here so critical damping means so in this situation the system that will slow down this is known as a quickest monotonic decay the system will not vibrate over here so next is the uh, the variation of energy so graphically this is also known as a phasor diagram of energy over here so that is called phasor diagram so how the amplitude or you can say that energy here the energy word that can be also plotted with respect to time ki with the motion when there is a over damping critical damping and the under damping how the system behaves over here so this is known as a phasor diagram of that is a phasor diagram of energy or you can say that energy or oscillations this is a uh, representation of phasor diagram so now you can clearly see that now what is this line so this represent over here this is a baseline over here now second is a under under damped so in the under damped means quickly after some time slowly slowly the oscillations they will come since to rest so that is the example of under damping now this is a critical damping critical damping means so in the critical damping when the omega not uh, sorry when the b that is equivalent to 2 m omega not so in that case quickly the system that will comes to rest so it will become zero so there is no oscillations so quickly it will comes to rest now in the second case when there is a over damping motion so there is no oscillations so now only the oscillations are present that means the system will behave like uh, having the oscillations that will be for the presence in present in case of under damped motion so in the under damped motion the condition is that the b that is less than 2 m omega not so this is the conditions over here so in that case in the under damped case case the oscillations they will comes to zero after some time so in the starting so there the oscillations are the present so this is known as a damped harmonic oscillator while in other cases you can see that for the over damping and the critical damping no oscillations are present now when you compare this with the simple harmonic oscillator so when we plotted this with the simple harmonic oscillator so in that case okay. 
So now that means for the simple harmonic oscillation, you can see that these oscillations, they will never come to end. While for the under damped motion, these oscillations, they will come to end. So this is a simple harmonic oscillator and that is a damped harmonic oscillator. So this is the difference between simple harmonic oscillator and the damped harmonic oscillator. That means in case in th uh, this is also a special case of damped harmonic oscillator, which is known as the under damping. So in that case, the oscillations will come to end after some time. So this is a real world. In the real world, when the system or the pendulum or the swings start oscillating, after some time they will come to rest when the applied force is uh, when the continuously force is not applied while in the imaginary world you can say that or that is a simple harmonic oscillator when the, there is a, a spring or the pendulum they will continuously moving they will never come to rest but we know that in the real world after some time the uh, swings or you can say that the pendulum they will come to rest after some time so when we studied uh, the how the energy for the simple harmonic motion uh, that is variable with the time and how for the damped harmonic oscillator the energy goes on decreasing and the system the motion of the system that will come to end after some time thank you if you want to study this topic in detail refer to the book by s john publishing link is provided in the description box if you found our video interesting please like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.